Delphine Hirosuna is the author of The Art of Gaman, a book featuring arts and crafts from the Japanese-American internment camps during World War II. She showed us some of the items featured in the book and now on display in Washington at the Renwick Gallery. Her parents were interned at one of the camps, where all ethnic Japanese on the West Coast were transferred shortly after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Well, the way this whole project started was um, shortly after my mother died, Kyoko Hirasuna, um, I was going through the garage and found this old dusty wooden box. And I looked in there and there, were, there was this bird pin and there were some other trinkets. My dad's Eddie served in the 442nd in Italy, so he had a lot of little trinkets that he brought back from Italy. And I had no idea the, the range and variety and level of skill of objects that were, uh, were done in camp. When they got to the, to the camps, they discovered there was just a metal cot and a bare light bulb hanging down. So just the first things they tried to make were just functional objects, chairs to sit on, um, just a woven basket to put things away in. Scrap lumber, perhaps some wallboard, and a great deal of energy, curtains, pictures, drapes, depending on the family's own ingenuity and taste, helped to make the place livable. It evolved that they started looking for ways to beautify their surroundings, keep themselves busy. This was, when I, when I went to gather these objects and, I, and we talked about it, uh, everyone said, well, this is busy work. This is a way to keep our sanity. This is a way to hang on to some sense of their own power and creativity. The bird pins were done in all of the camps. You only needed like two or three inches of wood, and, and so it was easy to get the materials. It was largely a male pastime, and, and there are hundreds, if not thousands, of birds still in existence, and um, probably a lot more that was, were thrown away. I would hope that the people who come to this exhibit see it not just as, as something wonderful done by ethnic Japanese, but something that uh, really captures um, some, the dignity of the human spirit.